Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today I've got a fully vegan sneaker that is the Adidas and Sean Wotherspoon Super Turf Adventure. So if you've not seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers, then at the end of the video, I'll give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see is going on, please, as always, do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And if you haven't already and you wanna show some support, please do subscribe to the channel while you're down there. Let's kick this review off of these Adidas Sean Wotherspoon Super Turf Adventures by checking out how they look on feet. This Adidas Shaw Motherspoon Super Turf Adventure is absolutely wild. I do not even know where to get started with this shoe and I'm really gonna struggle to talk about everything that you get with this sneaker. But it is a collaboration as well with Disney and you can find Jiminy Cricket here embroidered on the tongue of the shoe and the colors and the theme of the sneaker are loosely based around what he wears. Now inside the box you can see behind me you also get some other things that can change the appearance of the shoe starting with this purple and yellow pair of additional laces. Now, I think they definitely suit the shoe better than the light blue that they come with, but Sean Wotherspoon has said these won't be included in all boxes, so if you do get them, feel a little bit lucky because I do think they'll improve the looks. The second element you get is this pouch here. You can see there it's got the branding embroidered on the bottom. This little pouch with a zipper can be attached to your laces with these lace loops and just sit on top of the shoe like that, but it also does come with this lanyard inside so you can wear it around your neck if you want to rather than have it attached to the top of the sneaker and personally for me I think that's a better look but this has been included a nice little touch by Sean for little trinkets and little stones and sticks that you find he found that when he was walking with his son he didn't really have anything to put those things in so now you have that little pouch there that you can put little trinkets on that you find on your adventure now inside the box the shoes actually come wrapped in this Adidas Sean Wotherspoon tote bag. And as you turn it around, it's got more of the out outline of the shoe there, and you can see that it's got more information about what makes this shoe so special. Now, this shoe is 100% vegan. All the materials used and the glues are 100% vegan, which is great. The polyester that you can find on the inside of the sneaker here in the orange, that's 100% recycled. The corduroy you can see here in purple that makes up the base layer for the sneaker that is recycled also the rubber that's used on this very hardened outsole is made from rubber trees and waste rubber then additionally you've got the sock liner which is the insole for the sneaker which is made from cork which is a sustainable material which is made from the bark off trees it's got a look to it that for me, I don't quite fully understand because there's just so much going on, so many colors. I feel like there's been a lot put into this shoe. Like there's a zipper here that runs throughout the tongue of the shoe. I don't think you'd ever want to do that up and hide the Jiminy Cricket emblem. And when you do do it up, it does make the tongue feel very rigid. Then you've got so many different overlays on here, so many different colors. You've got the little uh, embroidery there on the back of the heel. You've got this rather exaggerated heel pull. You don't really need that to put these on because they are quite easy to get on and off. You've then got so many different overlays with this little speckled mud guard here, hardened toe cap, Adidas branding on the toe. You've then got this Adi Pre midsole with all the waves and cutaways. And then you've got this really hardened outsole made for all terrains. I just think, I don't think this would cross over for me as a lifestyle shoe. I just wouldn't wear this every day. I would primarily want to wear this as an off-road sneaker. The shape of it as well, it's quite boaty, it's quite bulky at the toe. It just, for me, I'm just not 100% sold. There's just too much going on for me on this shoe. Now I'm going to move on to their comfort when I want to put this Adi Pre midsole to the test. So I'm not the 
biggest fan of them looks wise just because for me there's way too much going on I just don't know where to look and, and where to start with these looks wise and comfort wise sadly I did find these a bit of a letdown now they have got quite a chunky adipre midsole but sadly that is on top of this incredibly rugged rubber outsole now yes that's going to offer you great grip and support and stability but it takes away from the foam detailing that you get in the midsole because it's sat on top of such a rugged outsole that you're gonna get a transmission loss from that foam to the floor in your foot and it makes these shoes incredibly rigid. Like there's really no flexibility in these, which sadly is an indication you're not gonna get much flexibility from the midsole, which reduces the cushioning and they do come up very firm underfoot. You can see from the step test, I really tried to get some bounce back from toe to heel and I really only got some in the midfoot. On top of your feet, you do get a lot of stability with this lacing system that you can see runs through this detailing and this TPU overlay that runs to the bottom of the shoe. So it really does come in and secure the top of your foot nicely. And you also get some really nice cushioning in the heel and on top of your foot. Now I went half a size up on these and I would definitely advise anyone that's gonna buy these to go half a size up. With the Adidas sizing lottery, it's really difficult to get the size right every time. I went half a size up on these as a guess and I was definitely right just because of the shoe type and it is an off-road kind of off-terrain shoe, I thought it was going to be more padded out. So I've got a perfect size UK lengthwise foot and my feet are a little bit wider than average, but I find going half a size up made these a perfect fit. Next, I want to talk about their weight where I'm going to pop them on the scales. Coming in at over 400 grams is really to be expected with this shoe. It is an off-road, kind of off-terrain sneaker. Yes, it's supposed to be a lifestyle shoe that could be worn in urban conditions as well, and you could definitely get away with doing that, but they are gonna be on the heavier side. So just be aware that if you are gonna wear these round all day, they may weigh your feet down a little bit, but I can understand that extra weight has been put into things that are gonna offer more stability with the additional overlays and also this very rugged outsole. Now I wanna move on to their breather where I'm going to pump the upper full of smoke to see how breathable they are. Sadly, they do not perform very well in the breathability test and it didn't surprise me to be honest as soon as I got the shoe out of the box and saw that this corduroy material here is basically the foundation for the shoe and then on top of that you've got all these other material overlays it's not really going to offer any breathability because corduroy itself is not the most breathable material and then you've got the additional layers on top of that unfortunately if you are going to wear these in the summer and humid months I would expect to get kind of hot or sweaty your feet because as you can see, the smoke only really escaped from where the tongue attaches to the toe part of the shoe. And really when your foot's in there and it's pressed up against that, it's not really gonna let any air in or out. So for me, a little bit of a letdown in the breathability, but I can see why it's like that, just because of the materials that have been used on the upper of the sneaker. Now I wanna move on to their price. Now these cost me 130 pounds, which I think is a little bit steep when you consider what you're getting with the shoe. Now, I wanna talk about my overall score and then I wanna to talk to you about how I've come to that. Now, I can't give these any more than two stars and it really pains me to do that because I love Sean Wotherspoon, I'm a fan of his, I'm a follower of his. I think, you know, what he's doing is great with these vegan shoes and he's making shoes that stand out and they're bold, but I'm just a little bit lost with this one. I'm, not 100% sure what I'd do with it, what I'd wear it with. I, there's other shoes out there that are better all-terrain lifestyle sneakers, and it, it's just I just don't know if it's been well executed, sadly. I think there's a great idea behind it. I'm not sure why there's the need for the Disney collab with Jim Lee Cricket on there as well. I just think that there's, so, there's too much going on for me. Um, 
Looks wise, I'm a little bit lost with it. Comfort wise, I think they really underperformed. They're on the heavy side. I think they don't offer any breathability and they're overpriced. So two stars sadly is the highest I can give these. Now, if you agree or disagree, please do leave some comments below and let me know. If you want to see more, please follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe before you go. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.